Hello, my name is Sue Ann Brightson and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. I was recently working on a client project and they wanted to edit the existing VIP icon that's on the Contact Manager grid from the crown to something that they provided to us. They also wanted within the employee record to have that new VIP icon shown next to the employee name and picture as well as on any incidents where that customer was the person that had called in about the request. So they wanted that to go right here next to the customer label. I'll show you how I accomplished this by going into our admin client and opening up a blueprint. And once we're in our blueprint, we'll go to our customer internal business object and edit our grid. Once we're in the grid editor, we'll select properties and notice that we have two different things that we can do on this internal customer grid. And that is selecting a row image based on an expression or a row color based on an expression. In this case, we'll just focus on the row image because that's what the customer wanted to change. So going into this custom expression, you can see that the customer internal VIP logical equals true. And if it does, then that VIP icon will show up. In this case, that VIP icon is the crown. What they wanted to do was add a new VIP icon. So I'm just going to go into our global folder, create a new image. I'll import the image from my desktop. Just for ease, I will put new at the front, just in case we have another icon in our image manager that has VIP icon as the name. We'll go ahead and save that and select OK. Now you'll see if the customer internal VIP logical equals true, the new VIP icon will show. So we'll save those two and then we'll come over to our internal customer form and on that form what we're going to do to get that VIP icon next to the employee name and picture is select an image control here, add that, and browse in our image manager. Again we called that new VIP icon and because we added it to the image manager already it will stay there. So we'll select that. One thing that's important to note though is we do need to put a visibility expression on this so that it only appears if the customer is actually a VIP. So we'll go into our visibility expression, create a custom expression, and this is where our customer internal fields, we go down to our VIP, and this will show us customer internal VIP logical has to equal true in order for this to appear next to the employee name. Go ahead and save that and next to get this onto our incident form we'll go to our, bi our incident business object. We'll edit our form on our incident overview form. We will again select an image place it next to the customer label, go find that image that we were working with before in our global folder, new VIP icon, and once again we need to set our visibility expression. This time however we want to make sure that we're looking at the customer fields not incident fields like you would think that you need to do. And within those customer fields, we'll take a look again, we'll select our VIP equals true, and that's the only way that will show on the form. So once we save our blueprint, we will begin publishing it. And now that our blueprint is published, we'll go ahead and close that, return to our desktop client, Reload our definitions as we always want to do once we've published a blueprint. Then under Customer, 
Contact Manager. Again, we'll search for everyone so we can see those people that are VIPs. And you'll see now that we have the new icon, the new VIP icon that the customer provided to us. And if we drill into the employee record, the new VIP icon also exists next to the employee's name and image. And we'll go into our incident record and notice that the customer the new VIP customer icon is next to the customer label as well. What I can do here is go in and select a different customer just to make sure that our visibility expression is working. So we'll select somebody that is not a VIP and you'll see that that goes away. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to visit our website at beyond20.com if you have any questions or need further information.